Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Archangel by Big D Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in, and we'll break this bag down. Start with slow side material. This is the back side of the fast side of the BG Viking Reynolds Pro Advantage. They flipped that material, used the back side. It's the slower side of the material, real controllable, softer. I actually like the side touch better. The other side plays about a seven speed. This is like a six, six and a half speed on it. it it's still, you know, it, it's more controllable, but you don't really lose the whole freeness of it. And that's what I like. This is kind of a great slow side speed for me for a fast bag. If I'm going for a fast bag, this is a this is what I like. I still have control. I can still play my blockage when I want to. I can still shape shots if I need to with this bag, but I can also run the bag and go hole for hole with it. So anyway, love this slow side material. It's the same slow side you find on the Reynolds Fracture 724 WMD, the Cornell Serial Cat 3, the Southwest Back Company Bougie we sort of reviewed. All of those still use this same slow side material on there. Uh, fast side. This is that Pro Sniper Deadhead Viper Fast Side 9 speed. Crazy fast. Great for pushing, collecting, sliding up the board in conditions. Uh, so we're looking at about a 6, 6.5 slow, 9 on the fast side of this. Template wise, this is a smaller template bag, but it kind of feels like a medium template bag. It doesn't feel small. It's not puffy, super puffy. You know, you've got a medium amount of flop, medium amount of fill in here, so you still have some flop to it. Right, but it's not the floppiest bag. But it doesn't feel typically smaller bags tend to be puffier, have little no flop to them. This has some flop to it, but it's you still get a wonderful handful. And you grip this bag, you lock it down, you have complete control over it. And that's what I like about smaller, medium to small template bags. It's the control you get on them. Fill in here is a mixed fill, and and I like the fill because it gives the bag it gives the bag forgiveness when it lands. You know, for those of you who throw who don't throw a flat bag. If they don't throw a flat bag, you typically get a medium, smaller template bag. They're going to kick on you, especially when you get a bag that has a, a slower, slow side, right? That's why people don't throw flat bags, throw faster bags, because the faster bags are more forgiving. They usually have a flatter fill in there, and they tend to land flat, and they don't kick as much. But this is a bag that has a ton of control with it, and yet it's pretty forgiving when it lands. It doesn't have, I mean, it's going to kick on you some, but it doesn't kick that harshly on you. You can get by with not throwing the flattest of bags with it. It's also a bag that if you play a if you play more of a dirty style game, you play more of a shot shaping style game, and you're looking for a faster bag to throw, this is a great option because you can still throw your cuts, you can still throw your rolls and your flops and, and your get arounds and all that stuff with this bag. But it's also a bag that you can run hole for hole, so you can change up your your play style. It's a very versatile bag in that aspect of it. In fact, I'm, I'm jumping to playability here on this. But anyway, it's a medium template bag, medium fill, medium flop. It's a mixed fill in here. I love the fill. I love what it adds to the whole frame. This around the whole. I, I, I'm always a fan of a mixed fill bag over a flat fill anytime. And typically, when you get to faster bags, they all they they want to go flat fill, and I hate the flat fill and faster bags. They tend to hang on the hole more. This bag doesn't have an issue. I love the fill. I love I love the combination of the fill, the control with the smaller template that you get. It's just a fun bag to throw, which leads me into playability on this. And this is a bag that it's it's versatile, as I said, right? You can do a lot with it. For me, in my mindset, I'm pulling this bag out when I want to go more hole for hole, run the bags and throw an occasional dirty round. And I know I'm playing an opponent who has a tendency to throw some blockers. Maybe they don't play a full out dirty game. Maybe they do. Maybe they, maybe they're playing a really sticky bag, and I don't want to compete with that. I want to I want to put my bags in the hole and leave them there. This is a great bag because when the boards are open, I can just run bags in the hole all day long. When they have blockers, I, I have the control. Like I said, with, with this bag, I can lock it down, and I I can I have complete control when I throw it of the angle. You know, when I put a cut right to left, left to right, back load, front load, whatever I'm doing, so that I can get around. I can shape my shots so that my opponent has a blocker. I can throw my cuts, cut around, cut around. You know, I can leave their blocker, make them go after it. If you're a rollback thrower and you're looking for a medium to faster bag that you still have that roll of rollability to it, this Archangel is a great option. It's very rollable. Even, you know, I mean, it, it, if you're a rollback thrower, again, you can roll any bag, but the average to above average, you're still able to roll this bag. If you're still learning, not the best bag to learn on, right? You might want to get a bag with more of a bouncier fill, a little fuller bag, or even something like the the Bandit Queens, or I reviewed a little bouncier bag, fuller feeling, a little easier roll. But this is definitely a rollable bag. For a faster bag, it's definitely a rollable bag, something, and you can really play that shot shaping game. And for me, I'm more of a cut, I throw more cuts than rolls. I love playing the cut shot. This is a great option for me to pull out because because I can play, like I said, I can, I can run hole for hole, but I can still throw my cut shots and shape shots like I want to. Whereas, you know, that recently I reviewed the, the Southwest Bougie, I did the Reynolds Fracture, um, I've actually done the WMD and the Cat 3 a while back. And all those bags are a little bit floppier, a little tougher to cut. You know, that's more of a just run bags in the hole type bag. You're not really getting that shot shaping out of it. And in fact, if you recently watched the Bougie review I did, I, 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 that bag was 
great at, at just landing, running up, grabbing the hole, and falling in. And the, the, the advantage you get over that bag, the larger floppier bag, is around the hole. You know, I talk about landing zones. Those larger floppier bags have bigger landing zones. These smaller, fuller bags have a smaller landing zone. And that's what you're, the one thing you're losing with this bag is the, the ability for it to grab the hole when you miss left or right. right? If you're throwing right, if I throw the bag right, it's going to the hole. It's when I miss. When I miss my landing spot, miss my miss my target, and throw a little to the left, a little to the right. As the bag goes up, as you can see, this bag doesn't have the flop to grab. So there are some times where I just kind of want to skip past the hole, slide up. Maybe it would clip it, but I don't have to grab to pull any of the clip and just spin it on the backside, and it was out of play. Whereas if you watch the bougie review I did, that was a larger, floppier bag. That bag did great at grabbing the hole, spinning and coming back in. But what you lost with the bougie was your control. Because it was such large and floppy and loose, I didn't have the ability to throw cuts. It wasn't a bag you're rolling or floppy. So it's a trade-off, right? You've got to figure out what style game do you want to play to determine whether you want a bag that has more control over it or a bag that's more forgiving. Maybe you're not as accurate and you're just a straight run the bag of the hole. Maybe you're looking for a little floppier bag that's more forgiving to to to, to cover up your inaccuracies. Whereas if, if you're looking to play that shot shaping game, that's where Archangel steps in and you can really play, you can play a dirty style game with with a faster medium speed bag. So I, I love this bag for me. It, like I said, if I'm running hole for hole with the occasional third bag blocker or the occasional dirty round here or there, I love to do it. The bag is very collectible. It's full enough that if you've got a bag setting up there, it's not hard to come down. You're just clipping or just touch a quarter and take it in. The bags are also, if they're hanging on the hole on the front edges or the sides, you, you, you just come across you don't have to get too crazy. I mean, throw a little cut shot or even come down the middle and clip it and take them in. Now, if the bags are hanging on the back, that's when they become a little tougher to play and you've got to come aggressive with the airmail drag or, or, or just abandon them altogether. But for bags hanging on the side, I had no problem collecting them. If they're on, you know, across the board cuts on my side, step out, collect them. I had no problems doing that with this bag. They're actually pretty easy to collect. Even bags that, you know, I could throw, even if it's a smaller template bag, I could throw a blocker a little more on my opponent's side, be more aggressive with the confidence knowing that I could throw, like I said, down the middle to collect or even throw a cut shot if I had to and and pull it right back in. So I love the collectability of this bag. It gave me confidence to throw blockers. It's actually a bag that it, it plays well here in open boards just throwing. You know, it's a great, you know, round holio, deck around, you know, ghost cornhole type bag. But it's also a really good bag in competition when you get out there and you're playing on those little bit of a dirtier style board with blockers. It's great for, like I said, getting around and leaving those blockers and making your opponent work to collect their blockers. So all in all, I love the bag. I love the versatility. I had a blaster on it. Uh, highly recommend checking out this Archangel. Please me an availability. Big D Bags has a website, bigdbags.com. So these are ACO stamp bags, ACO approved. It, you know, if you're playing ACO events this year, you need an ACO approved bag. These work for that. If you go to the website, Big D Bags, you can buy the ACO bags for $80. And that includes free shipping. So $80 shipped to you. Phenomenal price. I, I can't recommend enough at that price. If you play TCL events and need a TCL stamp bag, you go to the TCL shop and buy them. They're there. I think they're... $95 when they're in stock. I think it's what they sell for it. Something like that. $90, $95 for the TCL bag. I'll put a link description to Big D Bag's website as well as to the TCL shop. So if you're depending on which, which league you're playing in, which one you want. If you're not playing in any of those leagues, you're just looking for a, a bag for a local event, unaffiliated event, whatever, a local league, just go to BigDBags.com and pick up the, the ACO stamp version of the bag. I, it, he may also make some unstamped version. I don't know. Uh, at the time, I just looked all they have the stamp ones on the website, but he may also make some unstamped ones. Uh, but check them out. If you've thrown the Archangel, I'd love to hear your feedback, what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing your guys' opinions on these bags. I thank you so much for support, and I thank you for watching.